What is up guys, as you can see today we're back with another Elsu video and this time I was playing him in the jungle as many of you guys requested and I do think this is not really a troll pick because um, he is very fast at clearing the jungle as you can see right there you can do two camps at once and um, the only issue is that you cannot bring the flicker unfortunately um, because you need the punish of course but anything else I have to say it works really well in the jungle um, probably not one of the tier S junglers, you know, but I would definitely put him at least B tier, like you can for sure um, play him and win a lot of games with him. And um, also a lot of enemies will not expect how to play against it, because if you play against a side lane or a mid lane Elsu, you can just look at the minimap, see if he's missing, and if he is missing, you can expect some snipes coming your way, but in the jungle you're always missing. So um, yeah, I have to say it is not really that bad. Also, he can maneuver around the map very fast with his passive. Um, of course, hugging the walls will make him faster, that is. And here you can see we're already um, ganking the Pura. Um, we will see if we get the kill. It doesn't seem like it so far. We snipe the Talnas as well for a lot of damage. But I think we have to retreat unless we hit a very nice shot here. We hit another one. But it is still not enough. We hit a third one, but um, we'll see if he can kill her. No, he cannot. So we. I'm just playing it safe. Like, I don't agree with the Superman jumping in there. It's a little bit too risky. I am just playing it safe. Here, I hit someone again because you saw the skill shot and you hear the sounds as well. Um, so we. The enemies are really low. So I'm thinking maybe I can keep pressuring here. I see the Darcy's mid lane, so maybe I can keep pushing this tower and as you guys know if you get half the tower it is always worth because the next time we come back to this lane and um, we will get the rest of the tower and yeah now I did leave my blue buff up for a very long time but as soon as I saw the Darcy's mid lane he's not counter jungling me we are fine with that it is not as important as pushing down these towers as I said if we go back with the next rotation to that bot lane we get the tower we open up the enemy blue side uh, jungle and yeah, that is always worth. Here you can see you can do something funny with your ult as well, where you clear both camps at once. And the ult has such a long cooldown, especially with this 10% uh, cooldown reduction enchantment on ult. You can pretty much spam it to clear jungle. It is not an issue. You can see it's already almost up. You should treat it as just another skill. Of course, you should try to time it so you still have it for the next team fight, because. Um, in team fights, you need to oftentimes escape, especially because we don't have flicker in this um, in the jungle. All right, so the enemies are very low again. Bot lane, I can try to kill them here. I can try to get a snipe. We will see if I will. Here, I'm just waiting in this, and if you don't move, it's pretty hard to spot you. So I, I'm like, okay, the enemies probably don't notice me here. So now I just start auto-attacking her and they overextended, they didn't know I would be there. I do another auto-attack, another one and he gets the kill. So you can do a lot of these things with jungle Elsu. Like you can just stand in a spot, maybe next to a bush or somewhere where the environment looks kinda... Um, like I was standing next to a tower or for the enemies because it's flipped, I'm behind the tower. So they can't see me as well. So. Basically, you can just abuse that to uh, gank, and um, yeah, it worked out really well there. Now I'm just waiting for my blue buff to respawn, there it is. We just want to take this right away, as always. Um, here I do two camps at once again, with the ult as well, and we can, we can jungle clear really fast. And the jungle item is also not too bad on Elsu, so I really think this is pretty viable. Now I'm trying to set up some vision. Here we just go on to her. I just melee her because I can do this. And here I try to hit her but I thought she would sidestep but she kept walking I guess in the same direction or sidestepped in the other direction. I wanted to take that chance because um, that was a really hard snipe to hit. It probably wouldn't hit. It's she. We don't see her anymore. But I was like okay I have blue buff. I have enough charges. It should be fine. And um, the enemies are bots so we just push this tower. Now they might invade my red buff, but I think they're just doing dragon. Yes, they are. We can't really fight that. 
um, but it is fine because our uh, mid laner is top, or not our mid laner, our support. I think Superman is support, yeah. Anyway, you can see here a very good ult by Dio-chan. Here I just try to dodge these uh, um, S2s by Darcy. He's not really placing them well, so it is pretty easy. And here I just keep... Um, I wait for his invulnerability and then we shoot him. Very nice snipe there. We get her as well. 2-0. Really well played. Um, we wait. We can still hit him in that state, Darcy, but he gets damage reduction. So that's why I was waiting there for that uh, S1 to um, go away. Here I missed the last hit very bad. Um, we invade this, we might invade red buff as well, yes we do, if she tanks it, I don't have to overextend for it. I, I, sni I smite it at 80 health, very beautiful. Uh, she wants the blue buff, but I, I, I still need it. I still need it, so I just take it with my ult here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe late game I'll give it to her, she's kinda mad, but... I'm 2-0 to push the tower, I think he should be happy with my performance. Anyway, so you can see her step on my ward there. On my mine or whatever it's called. Mm, here I should just push this wave so it doesn't kill the tower, but I'm waiting for some reason. Uh, I should have just attacked the wave. I'm trying to trap someone and I'm doing fine here because again, she didn't see me, but she wasn't close enough for my S2 to be a 100% hit in melee range, so it wasn't worth it. Like, it was obvious she wouldn't walk close enough. Here, I just tanked this for no reason. I should have just pushed the wave, so we lost half the tower. Um, so, definitely not worth. And here, I can just take this and then gank them. I'm waiting for my in invisibility, and then I move in. Okay, it, it some for some reason, sometimes it takes a really long time for your invisibility to trigger. I know it's out of combat and stuff, but sometimes it really takes much longer than it should. I, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but yeah, I, I thought I would get invis there for, for sure. And um, even if the enemies see you in the invis, it's still worth uh, to wait for that, because it gives you a speed boost, so you can still catch up to the enemies and try to get into melee range and then hit a snipe, um, like a 100% snipe. Here we just steal the little minion, because he messed up. We get the dragon as well, with the help of our team. And now I should just go to my blue buff. It is a 7-0 so far, so my team is doing really well too. Here I'm just trying to stay really safe and just auto-attacking, as you can see. I'm just providing DPS, staying super safe at the other corner of the team fight, like where no enemies were. And here I try to hit the um, Crixie, but she already died, so I'm just, I, I just wasn't paying attention to the minimap. Because I knew she escaped that way. And now we can probably get this tower as well. My team is doing really well. I'm doing really well. Um, yeah. So not really too hard here. But I think they get a turnaround. Otherwise I wouldn't upload this. I'm not sure though. Maybe I'm wrong. This was a couple days ago. So uh, yeah. Here we can just steal the enemy blue. But she wants it. My blue is up. I just want the XP. She can have it. There you go. So she doesn't complain. You know. We're already winning, usually I would take this and give her my blue, but you know, she would start complaining again. She AFK'd for like a minute there when I took our blue, so... Just gotta please her to, yeah, make her shut up. Anyway, here, um, we are really strong right now with the Fafnirs. We can probably just do the Slayer very soon with Tara tanking. But here I decide we can trap them because we have Lindis, uh, I mean we have Dio-chan and if they walk into us and she gets a stun and ult, they're pretty much all dead. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Here I'm again trying to set up a trap with my invis but it did not work out so I just decide to clear the wave this time. But here she is just way too overextended so we just keep auto attacking again um, and she dies for it and now we just keep auto attacking her, we ult away before she can ult. Um, and now I just try to snipe someone. I wait again, I snipe him and he dies to the Tara. Again, you just wait for that S1 damage reduction to, um, to expire on the Darcy. 
Here, I, I, I thought she would. <laughs> I, I didn't think the stun would last that long. So I tried to predict her movement, but the stun just lasted like 5 seconds. So, unlucky. I don't think she would have died anyway. Here again, we just auto attack. I try to hit the snipe, but she stuns me. Very unfortunate. I almost die for it. I still have the death sickle available though, so that um, still something we have. You can see the life steal is crazy. We don't even have the bow yet, the bow of slaughter, and the life steal is just crazy. And here we just, uh, yeah, we just kill her. She walked into us while we were charging the snipe. And now um, we can probably try to st um, end here. Four of them are dead. Yeah, we will probably end here. Not much, not much a Crixie alone can do, unless we let her clear the wave. Yeah, I'm not sure. They should have. I, I can't approach that uh, Nexus alone because Crixie has so much range with the ult, with everything. She can just one shot me, even if I have Death Sickle. But uh, yeah, we should have just instead of pushing top, we should have just pushed this uh, Nexus, and it would have been GG. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Elsu Jungle gameplay. As I said, I think it's a very viable pick. Um, I will be playing it more. I will be making more videos of it. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.